Fresh from this morning's opening general session, Admiral Rachel Levine, Assistant Secretary for Health and Human Services, is here in studio now to discuss what she sees as the biggest public health issues and what are some of our biggest accomplishments thus far. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. I'm pleased to be here. So tell us first off, what are some of the biggest issues, you know, facing public health right now? Well, right now, of course, uh, at Health and Human Services, we're focusing on health equity. Um, Healthy People 2030 defines health equity as the highest attainment of health for all people. And that really informs, under Secretary Javier Becerra, much of our work at HHS. So we are working, for example, on the impacts of climate change on health. Uh, with a new Office of Climate Change and Health Equity. We're working on environmental justice. The impacts of long COVID on communities and populations, again, with that health equity lens, Um, food and nutrition security, and much more. Are there other issues that you want to tackle or that you think to be really something that we should focus on? Well, we are absolutely focusing on the impacts of climate change on health. Um, And we have seen that in the United States and around the world. That can be extreme heat. It can be uh, fires with the resulting smoke that we saw for the first time ever in New York City and in Washington, D.C. Sea level rise and storms that are exacerbated by climate change. And of course, the health impacts are, are, with those same vulnerable communities that have health disparities in terms of other issues. So our new Office of Climate Change and Health Equity uh, with its sister Office of Environmental Justice is looking at that uh, at at HHS and really working across the government. Um, We're going to COP28 uh, in Dubai at the United Arab Emirates to work on this globally as well. And so is being here at the APHA, you know, meeting and expo, is that one of the reasons why you're here is really to raise awareness about this, but also to collaborate with others? That's exactly right. So APHA is such a fantastic um, organization and its meeting is so large with, you know, with thousands and thousands of members. It's a great opportunity to collaborate, to talk about these type of ideas. And during the opening session, I talked about a, a program that we're advancing called People and Places thriving, people and places thriving. And it really um, looks at um, at many of the issues we're looking at with a new lens, the, uh, a new lens of the vital conditions of well-being and justice. And this is something that's across HHS, but actually across the federal government. And I was very pleased to introduce this topic and this program and initiative at APHA today. So that's amazing that you were able to introduce it here. And I imagine that that's something that, like you said, you're going to focus on and you want to make that a priority, right? We do. That is going to be a priority for our office of the Assistant Secretary for Health, but working across HHS. And so do you have anything you want to say to those that are in the public health sector or those that may watch this? You know, what do they need to know about anything going forward? Well, The impacts of COVID-19 have been so significant um, and the acute impacts of COVID-19. And they have shown us the depth and breadth of the health disparities that exist in our nation, particularly for communities of color, but also for other communities, for example, the LGBTQI plus community. And so, you know, we have to to address those, those health disparities. We have to take this health equity lens I'm a positive and optimistic person, and I think working together um, with uh, federal, state, local public health officials, internationally as well, that we can address the challenges that we face now and in the future. Thank you again so much for being here, and we appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much.